Hello dear students, today we are going to do another exploratory activity for uh, understanding the concept of uh, rotational symmetry in different quadrilaterals. As you can see on the screen, we have taken the quadrilaterals rectangle, square, rhombus, kite, trapezium and parallelogram. So you have studied about all of them in your class. Now, the process of uh, turning an object around a fixed point is called rotation. So you can see here on the screen, when I change the angle of rotation, these objects, they start rotating around the point observe closely the points now i will be taking your attention closely to different shapes now you know that when an object rotates its size and shape do not change just closely observe all the shapes i'm rotating and we see that when we are rotating the object, the size and shape do not change. Now, the fixed point about which the object is rotating, it is called the center of rotation. So, you can see we have marked the center of rotations in all these quadrilaterals. And the angle of turn during the ro rotation is called the angle of rotation. So, you know that uh, full turn is 360 degrees, half turn is 180 degrees, and a quarter turn is 90 degrees. Now, let us see what happens if we rotate all these quadrilateral at an angle of 90 degrees. Just observe. Look at the position of the rectangle. Are you getting the same position? No. Okay, now observe this. This is interesting. Now look at this square. Are we getting the same shape? Yes, we are getting the square after a rotation of 90 degrees. What about the rhombus? No, we are not getting. Parallelogram? No. Trapezium? No. And what about kite? No. Let us change the angle of rotation to 180 degrees and now observe it again. In between also, just keep a watch. Are you getting the same shape somewhere? No, we are not. So it's 180 degrees and interestingly you will notice that we are getting the same rectangle and square also. Oh, wow. Rhombus is also getting set at an angle of 180 degrees and parallelogram also. So we see that in a rectangle, the angle of rotation is 180 degrees. But for a square, if you remember, after a turn of 90 degree, we got a square. So angle of rotation for a square is 90 degrees. For a rhombus, it is 180 degrees. And for a parallelogram also, it is 180 degrees. But we have yet not found of any angle of rotation for this uh, trapezium and kite. So I don't know whether they have the rotational symmetry or not. That we will verify. Let us continue the process and see if we are able to get the exact shape when we are rotating the different shapes around a point and the angle of rotation is less than 360 degrees. We have reached up to 180 degrees. Okay, let us continue the process and go up to 270 degrees. Okay, I am uh, now... Yes, waiting at 270 now. For a rectangle, no. Square, yes. 
So we see that uh, till now we found the square, the same shape after a rotation of 90 degrees, then 180 degrees and 270 degrees also. Till now we have got three rotations and we have seen that uh, after three turns of 90 degree each, and after every 90 degrees, we are getting the same square. Now in rhombus, parallelogram, trapezium and kite, for 270 degrees, the angle of rotation, this rotational symmetry is not working. Okay, let us continue the process and see what happens at 360 degrees. Okay, so at 360 degrees, you see that all the shapes have come back to their original position. And in this experiment, we have found that kite has no angle of symmetry. Trapezium has no angle of symmetry. It's not, uh, it has no rotational symmetry. But we found the rhombus, parallelogram and rectangle two times. We found the same shape. So we conclude that rectangle, parallelogram and rhombus, they have rotational symmetry with angle of rotation 180 degrees and order of rotation for these three shapes, rectangle, rhombus and parallelogram will be two because two times we are getting the same shape in between and for a square angle of rotation is 90 degrees and order of rotation is four but for trapezium and the kite it did not work for an angle less than 360 degrees i hope uh, you have uh, visualized and enjoyed the experiment have a nice day bye bye take care